Part 4, Graphs in Practical Situations. You will find this on page 199 in the Namibia Mathematics Grade 8 textbook, Y equals MX plus C to success. Graphs in Practical Situations. Linear graphs are often used to show relationships in many daily situations. For example, distance time graphs, conversion graphs. The following example illustrates how a graph can help you to calculate the cost of hiring a car. The graph shows the charges of a car hire firm. Point A shows the basic charge, there, for hiring the car. That will be exactly a hundred Namibian dollar. Point B shows the cost of hiring the car for four days. There's four days, there is point B. That will be 900 Namibian dollar, between 800 and 1,000. Point C shows the cost of hiring the car for five days. So for five days, that point will be 1,100 Namibian dollar. So from these two values, we can deduce that $200 was charged per day for the hire of the car. Because between day 4 and 5, it's one day. And the difference between 1,100 and 900 will be, be exactly 200. So that is the cost per day for hiring the car. So was charged per day for the hire of the car. Hence the cost of hiring the car for two days is... So it's the basic charge of 100 plus 2 times 200, which will be 400 plus 100, which will be 500. So if I asked you, what will be the total cost of hiring the car for 7 days? Just put a 7 there. So 7 times 200 will be 1,400 plus the 100 will be 1,500. And let's look there, 7, go up, up until it cuts the, gro the line. And then go to the cost. It's between 1,400 and 1,600. So that will be 1,500. Okay. I want you to stop the video and I want you to do try now five. Number A, B, C, and D. As soon as you are finished, you can continue with the video. Okay. Let's start. We're going to start with try now. And that's going to be number five. Okay, let's start with number A. The basic charge for a taxi is five Namibian dollar. Given that the passenger is charged one Namibian dollar for each kilometer the taxi travels, find the amount of money the passenger has to pay if the taxi covers a distance of three kilometers. So basically, remember it's the five Namibian dollar plus he pays one Namibian dollar per kilo, and that will be a total of eight Namibian dollar. So that's for the first one. For the second one, so if he travels seven, okay, no, remember it's the basic of five plus seven times one, one dollar per kilo. So that will give me 12 Namibian dollar. And then the third one, that will be, um, let's see, 10. So it's the 5 plus 10 times 1. And that will be 15 Namibian dollar. Okay. Number B. This number B. Given that Y represents the amount of money a passenger has to pay if the taxi covers X kilometers, copy and complete the table. Okay. So if I draw a table, let's just see. Okay, we're just going to create a table here with a ruler. Okay, and we have four, so we just have one, and there is my four. Okay, so basically, this is my X, this is my Y, and we're just going to put this information in the table. So it was three, it was seven, and it was ten. And that answer was eight, and it was twelve. And it was 15. There is my answers. Okay. So given, and I just complete the table. So now on a sheet of graph paper, plot the points x, y using a scale of 1 centimeter, 1 kilometer on the horizontal and 1. So this is very important. 
and let's just go a little bit upper one centimeter for one and uh, this is on the horizontal and one centimeter to represent two on the vertical so one centimeter let's just go upper one centimeter to represent two on the vertical axis okay so let's do number c we're just going to use the grid but you can use the graph paper so basically if i'm looking at number c i'm just going to move up so that i have enough space okay so basically i'm going to draw my graph it's just positive values so if it's just positive values I can use, oh, it's a bit low. Let's just go a little bit, not so low. I think it's going to fit like this. We will now see. Uh, let's just make it, otherwise we're going to start again. Okay, so basically we're just going to see if it's going to fit. Mm. Okay, so let's just see. This one is going to be, let's first look at this one. So remember, on the vertical axis, one represents two. So one centimeter will be two. Let's just get the pen. Two. So this one will be four. This one will be six. This one will be eight. This one will be ten. This one will be twelve. This one, 14. Oh, it's just going to fit. And this one is going to be 16. And then this one, we it, remember, one centimeter is one. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and the highest will be 10, nine, 10. And don't forget that this is representing the kilometers. Just write it in. And this is because it's practical, we just don't call it X and Y, but we can call it X and Y, seeing that it's represented there. And this is going to be the cost in Namibian dollar. So cost, and this is in Namibian dollar. Okay, now we're just going to plot. Now remember zero is five. So we can basically, we can plot it, or let's just see if we don't plot it, how you will get it. So if we plot this table, 3 and 8, there, and then 7 and 12, so 7 and 12, there, and then 10 and 15, 10 and 15. And then I'm just going to draw a line. And I will extend. And remember that this was, if it's zero, it was exactly five. So in the middle between four and six. Okay. Now use your graph to find the cost of traveling five kilometers. So I will go to my graph, five kilometers. Here's five. So basically just take a ruler and make, you can use a broken line. There where it cuts, it, the graph exactly Oh, sorry. Just go and just use a ruler. It's going to be easier with a Euler ruler. And that's exactly 10. So what will be my answer of D? Let's just get a pen. My answer. And it's a practical sum. So we end with a sentence. We can say it will cost. And now we can say the 10 Namibian dollar to travel five kilometers and that will be how we can use a practical graph to find the cost of traveling with a taxi.